Good evening and thank you so much for stopping by. We'll be starting in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 22. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet shall, I'm sorry, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Today we'll be speaking about Lois Vogel Sharp. We're gonna go back in time a little bit to 2017 and the name of her video is prophecy the rise of the prophets that's 9 26 2017 and we're going to look at her replies and comments because back at that time she was accepting comments so a uh, young woman wrote in uh, this is public knowledge so uh, debbie doherty i love listening to you i have a question if God can change his mind over a judgment, wouldn't he know before he told you it was going to happen and not tell you he was sending a judgment? And she writes, this is Lois Vogel Sharp. That is a silly, that is, excuse me, that is silly to say the purpose is to make the people get fearful and repent. Read Jonah and what happened. God will do what he says if they will not repent so the judgment is real and man has a free will if god tells them do not worry you are going to repent so i will not tell you anything bad that would be silly the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom like a parent telling us to stop or we will get punished we got scared and stopped what we were doing same thing god bless sister lois now, after reading that, as you can see, that made no, absolutely no sense as to what she was trying to say to the young woman who had a simple question about if you're a prophet and you haven't seen the judgment of God, even though you actually named a date, because we're talking about the earthquake of 2017 that was supposed to happen that would reset America's economy, it would destroy the stock market, that's also on the video. You, you can watch that if you want. But she, she calls this person silly, the young woman silly, twice in here because of a simple question that she couldn't answer. Now, when we look at Jonah, she likes to reference Jonah as, you know, that judgment didn't happen. It did happen. It didn't happen at that time. Uh, God, he did say to repent. That was something that he sent Jonah out to do so that they would repent. And it's an excellent story. But it is a story where... the the prophet was correct in telling them to repent. They did do that, and the judgment was stopped. But then we find out that they continued in the sin in Nineveh, and then we find out Nineveh is eventually destroyed. But God gave them a time frame and what to do. They were able to do it and averted that judgment. Okay? So this is what she's speaking about, a judgment in California. God did not tell her about a judgment in California because we can tell it did not come to pass and she's not a prophet. Why? Because the word of God says so. It's not because, um, oh, Kimmy doesn't like her or uh, mm, Kimmy got mad at her once. They were in a church together. No, 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 no. We're talking about the word of God here. The word of God specifically says, if the thing does not come to pass, that person is not a prophet. That person is not a prophet. And she goes on in there to pretend to be God. Once again, she's pretending to be God. And at the 11 mark, about the 10, 50 mark, she's pretending to be God again. She also says in a prophecy, this is 2017 now, the video I'm talking about, she goes on and on about there's going to be, she will rise and rise during the Trump presidency. She's pretending to be God. She will be known throughout the land. This did not come to pass. She had a prophecy. She made up a prophecy about herself. This didn't come to pass. About herself. Think about it. She made a prophecy up about her own self, about being extremely popular, well-known during the Trump um, regime, during the Trump presidency. And none of that happened. If she couldn't do that on her own, on her own volition, out of her own uh, works, or so to say, how on earth would make you think that she's a prophet? She couldn't prophesize for her own self. She goes and she goes on to talk about Clint, uh, Kim Clement, who also made a prophecy regarding a woman um, would come up by the name of Esther. And she said, as she says in this again, she said, I'm 
I'm Esther. She says, she's Esther, and she's to take up her position and to keep rising up. She also says other prophets are going to be rising up in this hour of the Trump prophecy. Every one of those prophets that said Trump was come rolling in for a second term have failed, and they all fall into the Deuteronomy 1822 false prophet. This is ridiculous. I'm, we're going back to 2017, and she's still pretending to be God. She's still saying the same thing about rising up, and these things have not come to pass. This is not a prophet. You're not a prophet if what you prophesy doesn't come to pass. This is awful. It is awful. And then I love what she says in 2414, Mark, in the same video. She says, I don't care if they're preaching false doctrine, prosperity preachers, and they are preaching the wrong gospel. She said she doesn't care. She said, if, you know, if they believe, you know, that, you know, God is God and, you know, it's all good. It's not all good. Did, did you hear what she's saying? It's, she doesn't care if other people, if people are false prophets. She just doesn't want you to say anything about it. She just doesn't want you to stand up and read your Bibles and listen to the Holy Spirit and hear good doctrine from real preachers and real pastors and people that you can talk to and, and brothers and sisters you can fellowship with, whether it's weekly, on the phone, monthly, but they don't want that. They want you in a closed group where you're just listening to these wolves, oh, barking and nipping at each other so they can get whatever, fleece the sheep. That's what they call it, fleece the sheep. Take whatever you have, praises from you, um, property, silver, gold. It's the same, unfortunately, the same thing that these people are doing. But she said, watch for the rise of the prophets. Well, they, they tried to rise up and were slapped down um, right after all of these Trump prophecies and all these different things. And I want you to just realize that even in 2017, she's still doing the same thing. She's still saying the same thing, and it still shows. All the way from 2017 to now in 2021, what was Global Sharp? Yes, not a prophet. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, subscribe, and give some thumbs up. We appreciate you. We thank you so much. God bless all the new subscribers, our old subscribers. I shouldn't call you old, but our... <clears throat> Um, mature subscribers. <laughs> we do appreciate you and we love you here. And thanks for stopping by again.